Recording audio in Sony Acid is a very simple process. In this video, I'm going to be illustrating how to configure your audio device and how to record audio in Sony Acid Music Studio 8. Now, the first thing you do is open a new project, click on File and New, and then it shows you a box telling you to title your project. Let's title this Audio Test. Audio Test. You can name the uh, name of your artist or you can just click on OK. So, after that, for us to configure our audio device, we go to Options, uh, select Preferences, and then go to Audio Device. Under Audio Device type, you will see a drop down of Microsoft Sound Mapper, Windows Classic Wave Driver, and ASU for All 2. You can select for ASU for All 2, but for this project, I'm selecting my Microsoft Sound Mapper, and then I click on OK. Now, for us to record an audio, the first thing you do is you, you have to get the tempo of the song that you want to work on the tempo can be adjusted around here this is where the project tempo is you can drag to your right to increase or drag to your left to reduce the project tempo or you can simply click on it and input a number manually let's input 100 so the tempo of this project is 100 beats per minute to record an audio come to this plane here right click on it and then insert an audio track insert an audio track now an audio track has automatically been created notice that the immediately i created the track it comes under the mixer here this is the track here being recorded so i want to enable this track for recording to do that click on this button to arm for recording after you've done that you will have to select the input device that you want to record from to select that, click on this and then select your own system might not actually have this, but you will have various sound devices connected to your system and you have to choose which of the tracks you want to be recording from on your audio audio interface. And that is what I have done. So for me to record, I move to the transport control of Sony Acid and I click on the record button. And now you see a waveform is automatically being created, taking audio from my audio device. For you to stop a recording, all you simply do is come to the stop button here and then you click on stop. And then it gives you the option if you want to keep the recording or you want to delete the recording. Now we are going to keep the recording and then click on done. Now, if you want to punch in into the recording, maybe you want to do a take, you don't want to start from the beginning of the track, you want to start somewhere around the middle you move your cursor to the position you want to start recording from click on the record button and then you are already recording another audio file and then for you to stop click on stop and then that is it done and then when you're done recording on the track to disable the track from being recorded on just disarm the track from recording and automatically you cannot record on this track until you enable the track for recording. You can create as many tracks as you want based on the number of tracks that you need for your project. This is just a simple illustration of how to open tracks and record audio using Sony Acid Music Studio.